Uh, I'd like to call this meeting of your Newark City Council to order. Uh, Audit, please call the roll. Mr. Marmy? Present. Mr. Rath? Here. Mr. Roletta? Here. Mr. Blake? Here. Mr. Buff? Here. Mr. Cost? Here. Mrs. Floyd? Here. Mr. Frazier? Here. Ms. Hall? Mr. Johnson? Here. We have nine present this evening. Next, we have the invocation by Mrs. Floyd, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Would you bow your heads, please? Almighty God, we thank you for the ability to meet here and to discuss the issues facing the city. We ask that as school starts this week, and there are going to be a lot of students out and about, that you be with the students and their families, that uh, people as they are driving around town are careful with uh, that many new students around and new places to wait on a bus or walk home from school, uh, be with them protect them. We ask that you be with us as we make our deliberations tonight. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. William, you want to start the pledge for me? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, America, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Next on the agenda, we have caucus. That's the time for council to discuss anything that pertains to the agenda tonight. Do we have anything? Mrs. Floyd? Make a motion to excuse Ms. Hall, please. Motion Second. by Mrs. Floyd. Second by Mr. Marmy. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. That passes. Thank you. Next, we have our council minutes of August 1st, 2016. Is there a motion to approve those? Motion. motion by Mr. Johnson. Second by Mr. Rath. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? That passes. We had three reports of standing committees, one from finance, one from service, and one from personnel. Without objection, those will be received and filed. We have two reports from city officials this evening, one from Stephen Johnson, our auditor, the operating report for the period ending July 31st, 2016, and one from Barb Jobs, our income tax administrator, the income tax revenue report for period ending July 31st, 2016. Without objection, those will be received and filed. There's one communication this evening from Teresa Motes, an email about the National Night Out, which was August 2nd. That will also be received and filed. Next on the agenda this evening, we have comments from citizens. That's the time for you to be heard. This is not a this is not a debate with council. This is just your opportunity to be heard. Do we have anyone, Mr. Butcher? My name is William Butcher, 263 Union Street. I'll put all my comments aside. I may just uh, say, ever since I've become a New York City Council, this council. If you good folks up there, sitting up there, has inspired me, has challenged me, getting this kind of activity, like New York City government, which now I'm part of now. And now, since I'm part of Kwanis, I'm uh, part of the, um, uh, since I'm part of the Kwanis, I you know, just say, I want to thank New York City Council for inspiring me to let me get involved in the activity and Kiwanis. And let me just say, I want to thank North City Council, even you, Mr. Elton, telling me to get some kind of activity, which now I am part of. And let me just say, I want to thank North City Council for, for what they've done. And uh, my, uh, my stud tiger, Toby, He's got a little pet peeve. He like to know when the street is see. He like to know when the Union Street is going to get paid. And for that pass. Thank you, William. We have anyone else this evening? Yeah. Could you just give us your name and address, please. I'm Dick Ashcraft, and I own property on Ballard Avenue. And I talked to Mrs. D. And uh, I the other night, but I haven't got, got back with her, and she hasn't got with me. But the, the neighbor on the east side of me, he's a junkie. That's what I call him. <laughs> he he has five automobiles, and there's five of them out front, and there's one in the back, and then he's got all kinds of junk in the back, 
and he brings wood in there every whip stitch and he uh, burns it and they've called the fire department on him and, and nothing seems to and he uh, I, I just think that uh, property maintenance people ought to have a bigger stick to take care of a guy like that and I got a niece that lives on the east side of him and she's got a nice yard and flower bed and everything and and she she can't work in the flower bed without gloves on because they got cats that run everywhere and then they got five dogs or four or five dogs in the house so I just wonder what can be done about it I mean he, he parks the one truck he parks the biggest end of it back on my niece's property and and this one truck he has, well, it's been there for, he hasn't moved it for, a month, oh, I'd say five or six days. And uh, about three quarters of it is on, down on me. And if I park there and, and somebody comes, I, he got to pull up in the yard or either that or take space up for the neighbor on the west. So he's not being fair. And, and I think that another thing that he's ruining the, the value of everybody's property around there. And the people across the alley on the north side, uh, when he's got his fire going, why they uh, they got to close their windows. So he's just he's just a bummer. And I think the city ought to be able to do something about it. So what, that's is your, I, what is your address, sir? Uh, I live at 1760 Swans Road. And what's the address on that? Oh, 506 Ballard. That's your address or his address? My, my address. I don't know what his okay. address is. But it'd be next door to that. Yeah, okay. on on the east side of me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. We'll pass mm -hmm. that on to the safety desk. Thank you. We have anyone else on this first section? We'll go on to ordinances on the second reading, 15-31, 16-31. Ordinance 16-31 by Mr. Rath, Mrs. Floyd, Mr. Koss, Mr. Marmy, Mr. Johnson, and Mr. Frazier. An ordinance establishing a backflow prevention program within the city of Newark and establishes <coughs> uniform regulations for the protection of the public health in conformity with applicable laws. You heard the second reading of 16-31. What is your wish? Mr. President. Mr. Rath. I'd like to make a motion to adopt 16-31. Motion by Mr. Rath. Second. Second by Mr. Johnson. Do we have any discussion on 16-31? Mr. President. Mr. Rath. And this has to do with regulation and adopting our own testing program with backflow systems. Uh, and it's a preventive measure. Mr. Rath, anyone else? Okay, Autumn, please call the roll vote. Mr. Marmy? Yes. Mr. Rath? Yes. Mr. Roletta? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Mr. Bubb? Yes. Mr. Koss? Yes. Mrs. Floyd? Yes. Mr. Frazier? Yes. <coughs> Ms. Hall? And Mr. Johnson? Yes. 16-31 passes 9 to 0. Next ordinance is on the first reading, 16-32. Ordinance 16-32 by Mrs. Floyd, Mr. Koss, Mr. Marmy, Mr. Rath, Mr. Johnson, an ordinance amending the position classification, pay range, and position authorization tables of the Department of Public Service, Division of Street Maintenance, and Traffic Control by creating two traffic street worker positions. 16-32 will be held for two weeks for a second reading. Next, we have resolutions on a second reading, 16-65. Resolution 16-65 by Mr. Marmy, Mrs. Floyd, Mr. Koss, Mr. Rath, Mr. Johnson. A resolution appropriating monies for the current expenses of the municipal corporation. You've heard the second reading of 16-65. What is your wish? Mr. President, Mr. Marmy. Make a motion to adopt resolution 16-65. Motion by Mr. Marmy, second by Mrs. Floyd. Do we have any discussion on 16-65? Seeing none, all please call the roll vote. Mr. Marmy? Yes. Mr. Rath? Yes. Mr. Roletta? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Mr. Bubb? Yes. Mr. Koss? Yes. Mrs. Floyd? Yes. Mr. Frazier? Yes. Ms. Hall? And Mr. Johnson? Yes. 16-65 passes 9 to 0. Next we have the resolutions on the first reading, 16-66. 
Resolution 16-66 by Mr. Marmy, Mr. Koss, Mrs. Floyd, Mr. Johnson, and Mr. Rath. A resolution authorizing and directing the Mayor of the City of Norm to repair and submit applications to the Department of Homeland Security for fiscal year 2016 Fire Act grant programs in support of training programs, equipment purchases, funding for personnel, fire prevention, and fire safety programs throughout the city. 16-66 will be held for a second reading. Next we have 16-67. Resolution 16-67 by Mr. Marmy, Mrs. Floyd, Mr. Koss, Mr. Rack, Mr. Johnson. A resolution appropriating monies for the current expenses of the municipal corporation. Six, Mr. Mr. President, make a motion to waive the two-day reading rule on Resolution 16-67. Motion to waive the two-day reading rule by Mr. Marmy, second by Mrs. Floyd. Mr. Marmy. Yes, uh, we have a lot of payouts in different departments that we need to expedite in order to make sure we get them in our funds immediately. Thank you, Mr. Marmee. I'll just call the roll the way the two-day reading rule. Mr. Marmee? Yes. Mr. Rath? Yes. Mr. Roletta? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Mr. Bubb? Yes. Mr. Cost? Yes. Mrs. Floyd? Yes. Mr. Frazier? Yes. Ms. Hall? And Mr. Johnson? Yes. The two-day reading rule has been two-day reading rule has been waived, Mr. Marmee. Make a motion to adopt resolution 16-67. Motion by Mr. Marmee, second by Mrs. Floyd. Is there any other discussion on 16-67? Um, please call the roll to vote. Mr. Marmy? Yes. Mr. Rath? Yes. Mr. Rilletta? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Mr. Bubb? Yes. Mr. Koss? Yes. Mrs. Floyd? Yes. Mr. Frazier? Yes. Ms. Hall? And Mr. Johnson? Yes. 16-67 passes 9-0. Next on the first reading we have 16-68. Resolution 16-68 by Mr. Marmy, Mr. Koss, Mrs. Floyd, <coughs> Mr. Johnson, Mr. Rath, a resolution appropriating monies for the current expenses of the municipal corporation. 16-68 will be held for a second reading. Next we have 16-69. Resolution 16-69 by Mr. Rath, <coughs> Mr. Koss, Mrs. Floyd, Mr. Marmy, Mr. Johnson, a resolution authorizing and directing the Director of Public Service of the City of Newark, Ohio to advertise for bids and enter into contract for polymer for use in water, excuse me, wastewater treatment processes. 16-69 will be held for a second reading. Pronunciation of that one. Now we have 16-7. What did I say? Polymer? Oh. <laughs> Resolution 16-70 by Mr. Rath, Mr. Koss, Mrs. Floyd, Mr. Murray, Mr. Johnson. A resolution authorizing the Director of Public Service to prepare and submit applications to the participate in the Ohio Public Works Commission State Capital Improvements Program and to execute contracts as required. 1670 will be held for a second reading and finally tonight we have 16-71. <coughs> Resolution 16-71 by Mr. Rath, Mr. Koss, Mrs. Floyd, Mr. Marmy, Mr. Johnson. A resolution authorizing and directing the Director of Public Service to advertise for bids and enter into contracts subject to the appropriation of funds for various construction projects. And 16-71 will be held for a second reading. And that concludes our legislation this evening. Thank you. Next we go to our second section of comments from citizens. Do we have anyone else who would like to speak? Mr. Bushman? My name is William Butcher. We're 263 East Street. Last night, um, before we, I went to bed last night, I heard a bunch of cars drag racing on U Street. Sounded like they were, sounded like there was a must wreck out there. It wasn't. It was about uh, between 11.30 and 12.30, 12.30 last night. It woke me up. And I'd like to know what the city of Newark uh, is going to be doing about these spears have been racing up and down the uh, high up and down uh, Union Street, and let me just say, uh, Union Street is in pretty bad shape. I'd like to see uh, something done to it. I'd like to see it paved for that pass. Thank you, William. Anyone else? Ms. Best? Anyone else see me? Is it? Okay. Oh, goodness. Uh, Lisa Best. I have to remember my new address. Well, 1213 Executive Drive, Newark. Um, first, I want to say thanks for the itemized lists for the expenditures or appropriations. That's really nice to have back. 
Um, second, um, in, uh, uh, in accordance, I guess, with Mr. Ashcraft and with the article in The Advocate recently, uh, since the county dog pound has chosen not to accept cats anymore, because it used to be that I could trap the stray cats in my neighborhood and Toby would come pick them up and I assume <laughs> he took them to the pound. Um, they had two rooms there for cats and now they just, for some bogus reason, don't accept cats anymore. And I'm sure it's because it's a lot more work than dogs. But so I guess my question is, what do the citizens of Newark do about the stray cats? Because there's a ton of them. The Humane Society might take them, but they're chock full too, with the hoarders and you know people just bringing them in off the street. They can only take 60. Right now they have over 70. So, you know, I love cats. I've had cats. But <laughs> stray cats are nasty. You know, you don't want them in your yard. You don't want them on your porch. You don't want them on your porch furniture. Um, they kill birds. It's been established. They kill a lot of birds and small mammals. And, um, you know, so it's a health question. And I guess I want to know what the people of Newark are supposed to do with stray cats. Are they supposed to shoot them? Because that's what people are doing. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone from administration this evening? Or on the law director? Thank you, Mr. President. I'll pass. Mayor Hall? I will pass. Thank you. Mr. Marmot? Thank you, Mr. President. Need to call a finance committee meeting for next Monday. Yeah. Or yes. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Yes. Sorry about that. Um, just a couple comments. Uh, the cat issue. I agree. It's been that way for a long period of time, and. I, I wasn't even aware that Toby was collecting cats because anytime I called him with problems, he pretty much said there wasn't anything on the books so he could do anything. Um, the one thing, though, I am going to talk about as far as Mr. Ashcraft's uh, concerns, um, it's very difficult with vehicles. Uh, we, we talk about that constantly in different parts of our city. As long as they're licensed, with proper license plates, they can park as many as they wish. If there's parking on the street, just because it's in front of your particular property doesn't mean that that's your parking space. The streets are available for anybody's parking. Um, now there is a time limit in which they can park a vehicle for an extended period of time. Uh, if it gets to be a huge problem, uh, the police department, if they are available, could possibly come and mark the tires, but if they move it at all, then the time, it starts ticking again. Um, it is something that we have to deal with all the time throughout the entire city, so it's not just particular to your area, even though it is uh, definitely a concern of yours and, and a problem. Um, I wish that folks would just get along with <laughs> folks like that would try to get along. Uh, as far as the fires, that's another issue. Nowadays with the fire pits and everything else, the fire department weighs in. Is it a controlled fire, a non-controlled fire? With fire pits, that you're allowed to have a fire pit and there's different things. There's other things that they allow. Um, if you're conforming to their guidelines, and even sometimes if you just ask for permission from the fire department, they'll authorize a, a controlled burn uh, like that for like the weenie roast or something along those lines. So again, it's one of those things that it's not the best laws that we have, but it's also to try to appease those law-abiding citizens that are doing things correctly so they can 
enjoy a small fire on their patio or something along those lines. Um, I, I know it's not necessarily what you want to hear, but it is something that does conform within our regulations within the city. As far as the junk and things, the property maintenance does their best with the rules and regulations that they're um, working within. If there's junk parts and things like that, as if they can see them or they're, if they're visible from the property, then they can do something about it. If it's in a fenced-in area, again, it's difficult. They're not allowed to look over the fence. They're, they're not allowed to do that. Or fenced-in. Yeah. If it's not a privacy fence, then they can, they can, they can view it, then that's fine. But if it's a privacy fence that's wooden, it is like we can invade their privacy and look over the fence and do anything about that. Um, I'm just stating some of the things that I've dealt with and it's not even in your area. Yeah. And that's the reason why I know. Um, yeah, we all have. So just to share that information, uh, it's not a perfect situation, but it's also to protect those people that aren't doing it correctly. The whole thing with the car issue, we had this discussion earlier today. There are some streets that do not have parking on it. The only place for a vehicle to park is in a yard. So if we have a law where you cannot park your cars in the yard, you're taking away complete parking from some houses in the city of Newark and we can't do that. So um, again, it's just one of the things that we have to try to manage to the best of our ability. Um, and with that, I'll pass. Thank you, Mr. Marmon. Mr. Rapp? I would call it a service committee meeting for the 29th, and with that, I'll pass. Thank you, Mr. Rapp. Mr. Lund? I'll pass. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Marmon. Mr. Blake? I'll pass. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Blake. Mr. Rudd? Pass. Mr. Coffs? I will pass. Mrs. Floyd? I won't pass. <laughs> I just want to talk about all the stuff that's going on downtown. We were talking about this before the meetings. Some things you're aware of, the Canal Market open every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, the final Friday this month is on August 26th. It's a kids fest. Uh, they're going to show a movie at dusk. They're going to have all kinds of activities uh, for kids. So uh, it's a, a great way to bring people downtown. Uh, the Midland has a show tomorrow night, Toto's there. Uh, there are some other shows coming up in the next few, you know, we're heading into fall, so those things start to gear up. Light the Night sh Car Show is coming up in the middle of September, as is the Bluegrass Festival toward the end of September. Uh, the opening of the businesses on Church Street. There's just lots going on downtown. Uh, and I, I'm sure you all hear complaints about no place to park, but I'm downtown about four times a week, and I can always park within a half a block to a block of where I want to go. So it is sometimes I have to go around the block one extra time, but, you know, there are parking places. So I just want to encourage people to go to these events that are coming up with the, in the community. And with that, I'll pass. Thank you. Mr. Floyd, Mr. Treasurer. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I got a wonderful newsletter this week from New York City Schools, and so with the fall season comes fall sports, and um, opening week is kind of this week for the fall sports in New York City Schools, so just want to encourage everybody to go out and uh, make sure that we support the new Whites Field, where a lot of these sports are going to be held, and uh, make sure that it's an attraction, and hopefully New York football will win a couple games this year. I'm very optimistic. Yeah, me too. And then, uh, schedule's looking favorable. Yeah, schedule's favorable. <laughs> and then uh, New York soccer looks pretty good. So their opening yeah. game is the 19th. So I'm excited for that. And uh, also with all the work that's being done downtown and around town and um, looking at what the schedule is for 2016 paving and the projects that we have on the books, it's going to be um, an exciting year next year as well. So I hope that'll pass. Thank you, Mr. Treasurer. Mr. Johnson. Um, I just wanted to comment. I was glad to hear that fire chief and his wife are home and hope that they continue to keep progressing along uh, as they were seem to be doing. So uh, our thoughts and prayers are certainly with them and uh, with that I'll pass. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Uh, just a couple bookkeeping things. This is a five Monday month, so uh, next our next committee meeting will be the 29th. So we will skip next Monday. Our next committee will be the 29th at 5.30 here in this room. Our next full council meeting will be Tuesday the 6th, the day after Labor Day, uh, at 7 o'clock. And with that, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion. Motion by Mr. Cross, second by Mr. Rath. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? We're adjourned. Thank you for coming this evening.